This is a regime that consistently has talked about wiping my country off, off the map. This is a regime that has consistently called Israel a cancer that has to be removed. We would be irresponsible not to take those threats seriously, and my Prime Minister would be irresponsible in not taking the necessary steps to protect the people of Israel. Well, certainly, as we have demonstrated here at Sun over the last 24, 30 hours, there are many people who are unhappy, Americans who are unhappy with the deal that America has made to lift some of the sanctions on Iran and, in the view of many, not get enough back from Iran. Iran still seems a danger to a lot of people. Sam Eskenazi is here from B'nai B'rith. So uh, you're not happy with the deal. We're not happy. I think the really important fact is to look at the track record of the Iranian regime. Uh, they're the premier state sponsor of terror. Um, they consider America the great Satan. Uh, Israel is only the little Satan, let's remember. It's really America that's the problem. Um, so, I mean, the track record speaks for itself. We can't uh, trust this regime. All right. Um, do you think really actually that um, John Kerry and Barack Obama trust Iran? I don't know if they trust Iran, but let's remember that the thing that brought them to the table was the sanctions. Easing up on the sanctions is a game that uh, Iran plays very well. They're good at negotiating, at giving sort of false promises. Uh, it's, it wouldn't be the first time that they've allowed UN inspectors and then either moved a facility or, you know, done some kind of tricks to uh, just delay, delay, delay. It's their favorite tactic. What do you think should have been done? If you were making a deal with Iran, what kind of deal would you make? Well, if we were making a deal, something concrete. Iran should open up right away its facilities um, mm -hmm. and UN inspectors should be allowed to go immediately. Um, I think the important thing is the sanctions. I mean, they're giving up, uh, I think, with six or seven billion dollars no, of frozen I mean, assets. Eight. Oh, it's eight now. Well, even I better. Think, I think. <laughs> yeah. um, so they're giving up frozen Iranian assets without getting much in return. They're getting the promise of Iranian cooperation, not even concrete cooperation. Uh, let's get some, some facts, some actual concrete uh, results before we give up the money. Well, I thought I saw on uh, your website mm -hmm. that maybe actually uh, them being forced to actually take mm -hmm. some of the material that they've worked on actually physically out of the country. Uh, sorry, Iran taking it out. Yeah, of the Iran. Yeah, like actually removing some of the stuff they've been working oh, on rather than leaving it there for them to play with. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, Iran, again, part of the deal is that they're going to remove some equipment. They're going to open up to sanctions. But it's very easy for the regime whose favorite tactic is to delay, to just use this as another opportunity. Uh, the centrifuges are still spinning. Uh, they're still going to have the same uranium that they can turn out into uh, weapons grade material. And uh, let's not forget that they're the only nation in the region that's uh, actively threatening their neighbors. And they're one of the more dangerous nations in the world. They are indeed. I mean, um, you know, their arms stretch very far. Uh, the uh, Iranian-backed Hezbollah has uh, its tentacles all over Latin America, all over the Middle East, in the drug trade. I mean, this is not a friendly regime. Now, this was my favorite question to everybody who commented on mm -hmm. this on the show yesterday, sure. so I'll reprise <laughs> it and ask it to you. John Bolton said mm -hmm. the only solution is an Israeli attack on Tehran. Mm -hmm. Would you go that far? Look, I would hope that we don't have to go that far. I think that we do need to give uh, the sanctions a chance, but we can't ease up. Uh, this is the big mistake. This is pure appeasement. Um, easing up on the sanctions, again, the only thing that brought the regime to the table in the first place is the biggest mistake. Uh, I don't think that uh, we should have given up so quickly. Is this a Neville Chamberlain-like deal? Uh, again, I hope it's not going to get that far, but, uh, you know, history uh, has a tendency of repeating itself, unfortunately. Well, see, because I've heard people who aren't as distressed by this mm -hmm. as you are, as I am and many others are, mm -hmm. Uh, kind of mocking that idea. This is not a Neville Chamberlain deal. This is a real deal. But I, I sort of think the Iranians are laughing behind their hands. Uh, again, you know, all we have to do is look at the track record. It's like a stock sheet where, you, you know, the, uh, the investor will show you, oh, look, look at the past history. All we have to do is look at the past history of the regime. They are a state sponsor of terror. They uh, have threatened their neighbors. And uh, again, you know, the great Satan has been fooled again. All right. We well, appreciate you dropping by. It's always a pleasure.